All right. So this session we are going to look into ICMP protocol. What is the ICMP protocol and how does it looks and how can we identify the issues using ICMP protocol? So this is what we are going to look into this session. Okay. So first of all, what is an ICMP? ICMP is a internet control message protocol and why it is used means it helps you to find the issues and to troubleshoot and to diagnose what type of issues it can be used mainly in terms of troubleshooting and diagnosing issues okay so how does it helps you to diagnose issues that we'll see in the um, second part of the session within a few minutes that is within five to ten minutes we will look into while configuring the ICMP packet how does it works and by looking into the packet capture we can see the further updates about how to find what's the issue behind that okay so next we look into the packet type this is very important for troubleshooting so ICMP mainly has three values they are type code and checksum so to make it clear we can check it here all right so if you look at here you are having type code and checksum just look into this statement alone but right, not this one just about this this one just look into this statement alone that is type code and checksum so this is what we are going to look and focus on it what is type what is code and what is checksum first i'll focus on checksum checksum is nothing but it helps you to find uh, whether the data that is being transmitted or any uh, information that is being given is correct or wrong or is there any malfunction pack additional things is being added or not or is there anything corrupted so that's the work of a checksum and it will be done here so that's it about checksum next is about a type and a code this too plays a vital role here okay so let's uh, have a deep discussion about a type and a code over here okay. so for this we can go over here and here okay first the type is a 8 byte and code is a 8 byte and checksum is 16 byte so first we focus on type okay what is the type type which gives you what type of packet it is for example it has a certain sets of code values it may be 0 1 2 what would be the code based on the code it tells what type of icmp packet it is okay. if the code is specified as 8 which means the icmp request is being sending this packet belongs to a ICMP request packet if it has a code value of 8. Okay. Suppose if it has a code value of 0, which means it, it is a reply packet of ICMP, 8, which indicates it's a request packet. I need to reach to a so and so destination. It's said to be as a 8. While 0, is getting a reply for a particular request that you have sent already so this is what a code 0 means code 3 code 3 means which indicates the particular destination is not reachable it is unreachable if you are trying to reach one particular destination it is been replying in such a way that the destination is unreachable the destination host is unreachable I could not able to reach to a particular destination so that's what is about code 3 next is about uh, 11 if you're trying to reach a particular destination and you couldn't able to reach due to time to live exceeded packet so that's what is about a code 11 so this is what a type type uh, in a simple way we can say is what type of packet it is that's what a type is about next we look into the code what is code code means or we can say simply as it is a sub classification of type what type of packet you are getting based on the type of packet it has a certain set of sub classifications 
So based on the classification, what type of classification it gives? Uh, to be more clear, we can take a look into type 3. Type 3 which is a destination is unreachable. So if destination is unreachable, um, it will be considered in type 3. The type 3 packet will have a code of certain set of classification. For ICMP packet, it has a classification of that is a code till from 0 to 15. It has 16 codes for destination host unreachable, which means it may be due to any of the 16 reasons the destination is unreachable. We can find for what reason the destination is unreachable by using this code. Up to our knowledge, the destination host is unreachable. That's it. We can't able to reach the destination. But what is the reason behind it's unreachable? Whether it is shut down or uh, it is being blocked by someone or uh, the particular host is not reachable, whatever it be. So we can able to find by using these codes. So if a code zero, if you see under a type three, which means the network is unreachable. If a code one is being seen, which means the particular host is unreachable. If packet thir type 13 is being seen, which means it is being administratively blocked or uh, which is being administratively or wantedly be stopped by the administrator to reach a particular destination. So this is about uh, ICMP packet type. Um, not for all the types, there will be a more number of codes. If you look at a uh, type 8, which is a request, which will always have a code value of 0. There is no more than 0. It is fixed. And also for the reply, it has a code value of 0. No other value is being fixed. It is a fixed value. Uh, you can check into the Wikipedia site of this. I will show you just a second. Okay, alright. So if you look at here, the control messages. All right, so it will be more easier for you to visible. Mm. No, this is enough. Okay, so if it has a type zero, it has only one code. Okay, type zero has only one code, which is used for echo reply, which is a reply packet. And if you see a type three, which is a destination unreachable, it has a packet from zero to 15. That is overall of 16 codes, which means 16 ways or that for a destination to become unreachable. So based on uh, what is the reason it will say based on the codes, it might indicate what is the reason behind it. So this is what a uh, uh, destination unreachable. This is the difference between a type code and checksum. Okay. This is what uh, ICMP packet and how does this works. To be more clear about the ICMP packet, let's have a small setup and try to configure and try to capture the packet and see how it works okay for this i'm going to use a couple of routers over here r1 and r2 okay and then configure and capture a packet to see what type of codes it has been allowing okay so where's our routers yeah yeah this is our routers so the IP address is configured. Sure. Okay. Alright, the IP address and loopback IP is also configured for R2. I am going to show you how does this works based on this destination. I am going to choose destination as this IP by trying to reach this IP from R1. Okay. So first I will check the routing table of this one. Okay, it's that. It's via static route. Try to ping. Okay, it's been reachable. All right. So now it's time to capture the packet. All right, now I'm going to filter ICMP packet, okay. Then 
going to ping from R1 to R2's loopback IP. I'm going to ping only one packet for a clear understanding. Okay, only one packet has been pinged and their um, network that is a host is reachable. Okay, so let's have a look at over here. So this is the request packet. So request packet will have a type code of eight. Sorry, type eight and a code to be a zero. Type eight, which indicates it's a request packet and a code is zero and checksum is correct. So we mainly focus on type and a code now. Okay, so type is eight which is a request packet and a code is zero, which has been fixed for request packet. Next, we look at the reply. Reply has a type of zero and code of zero. Okay, so this is what we also mentioned over here. The reply has a zero. So this, uh, the mentioned values are the one that has been frequently used. Other than this, you can check it in the Wikipedia site or any other websites which has been maintaining this uh, ICMP packets. Okay, so next thing, is this is what a basic idea about request and reply now i'm going to shut the interface of loopback in r2 to check the response how does it works okay now going to shut down so now what's the response it's showing as unreachable and here you can see the request it's sending a request okay the code of zero and the reply here is type 3 which indicates the destination is unreachable the destination is unreachable is not a problem for what reason the destination is unreachable is being mentioned in code so code 1 what is a code one means the host is not reachable. So that's what the code value indicates. The particular host is not reachable. So that's a uh, reason behind the destination is unreachable. Okay. So next, uh, we can make this interface up. Okay. Next, what can we do means, um, we can create an access list. Okay. So to block, the particular host so that what type of ISMB packet we can able to generate we can able to create uh, find in the ping process we can check to that IP access list extended I'm going to ICMP block or block ICMP whatever it be nauseous any I'm going to block Danny IP any or you can also specifically mention to be as ICMP packet that's not an issue but here I'm using IP packet, whatever the packet that has been coming in to reach a destination of this. So host is better to reach a destination of this will be a uh, block. Permit IP any any. Okay. So I'm going to call this in the interface fast ethernet zero. What is the fast ethernet zero slash zero? It is the interface that is being connected to R1. Okay. So IP access group. And here is bound. Right. So let's try it now. Still the location is not reachable. Okay. Let's check whether the interface is up or not. The interface is up, but still due to access list it has been blocked show IP access list sorry show IP access yeah it's been blocked due to the access list let's now check into the Wireshark packet capture what is the reason behind that block so first look into uh, the packet number 59 I'm looking into it the frame number 59 here okay it has been sending a packet ping request that is having a type code of 8 type as 8 and code of 0 okay but the reply packet you can see here where is it 60 and 60 you can make sure here it is 60 and then if you look it closely means you can see here also it has a type of 3 which means the destination is unreachable but the code here indicates 
it is being administratively filtered but if you look at a uh, frame number 29 here you can see the frame as 60 if you look at frame number 20 and here frame is 29 you can see the code number as 1 which indicates the host is unreachable but if you look at a frame number 60 after configuring an access list we can see the code as 13 which indicates it has been filtered by the administrator which means he made a configure an access list or prefix list or whatever it be which is being manually blocked by the administrator that's what this indicates is about okay so this is what a icmp packet and you can check about this by configuring the same way i have done or in a different way whichever you like by capturing the packets and what is the reason behind this in order to reach a destination okay all right so that's it about icmp packet how does it works and how does we can able to troubleshoot using icmp packet if you have any queries questions or doubts regarding this you can give a comment um i will share the link of this wikipedia down in the description if you want you can check to that that's it thanks for watching until next time.